This is our October muzzleloader bow hunt. Eight years ago, we started with black powder, celebrating our eighth year today. So that is uh, just fantastic for us. If you're an outdoors person, I would call this our premier outdoor event. And it is probably all around, I think, one of the best hunts somebody could come on because there's so much action, so much to do. We want to say thanks uh, for their service and what they've done for our nation. And uh, that thanks for a debt that they really can't be repaid. They paid a price that, uh, that they're going to carry with them forever. So we just want to let them know we appreciate it. So let's go hunt. If you weren't a hunter and you didn't understand, you'd look at this and say they're just out there killing animals. And, and that's really not what it's about. It's just about something that on a higher level that they can accomplish. And I think what it does is it opens their mind and to what can be done out there. I mean, if, I'm sure if you talk to Chris, there's, there's nothing he can't do. This isn't a, uh, a cream pop hunt, as you can see out here. These guys work hard, they put themselves through a lot, they get up early, they stay up late, we, we get cold, we get hot. Shh, dear. This is hunting in the Pennsylvania mountains. Don't move about 90 yards out. Okay. I see it. I see it. Yeah, it's a big doe. Far? Yeah. Just hold it about two or three inches higher than what you want to what you want to impact. Take your time. Okay. Get ready. Okay, inside. It's about restoring to the warriors a sense of dignity, number one, a sense of accomplishment, number two, camaraderie, just the fact that you know, life isn't over because of the turn of events that happen in, in their lives. And it's to overcome that and to, and to move on. And to see what Chris has done, you know, it's just amazing. I didn't know what to make of him when he first got here. He was very withdrawn, sullen, didn't talk much. Uh, next hunt, he opened up a little bit more, and to see him now, where Allie's progressed, it, it's amazing. He's not done yet. He still has a real positive attitude and things to come, and where he's going to go from here. We were talking just in the uh, blind this morning. Next year, he wants to be in a ladder stand, so he wants to be able to do that. And we'll see how that goes, but you know what, I'm all for it. It's just an amazing transformation. And I don't credit myself, I don't credit Leek, I, I credit these volunteers, I credit these warriors themselves that never give up on themselves. That's what makes it so special. For me, it's super. I mean, I probably get more out of this than what I put into it. Uh, you will probably never hear me complain for the rest of my life when I see what these guys are going through and what the accomplishments they've made. Well, we just got on our blood trail. Nice bubbles, nice red blood. Oh yeah, she splattered all over here. But I guess she took a hard right, went back this way. And now we're following blood, and we just jumped her. And now she's, what, 120 yards out, and I've lost sight of her. We have a good solid blood trail, um, and we just jumped the deer again. So we're gonna back off, and we're gonna give it time to lay down it and hopefully expire. The shot felt good and everything. But I mean, she's, She's spewing. Three years ago, the exact same blind, shot a deer at like 80, 90 yards, and it balled up right there. And then I shot this deer like an extra 20 or 30 yards, and the shot felt great, everything. She ran away, you could tell she was hit. His blood was a little splotchy up there, but once we got in the woods, it was everywhere. It was bad. I'm sick to my stomach right now. I got it right here at my feet. Yeah, I got it right here at my feet. Here we go. 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 There she is. Congratulations. Get this on camera. <laughs> <laughs>
Congrats, Thank you, man. man. Hey, yeah, you know it. They've been saying, up here, up here, and it's blood. I keep thinking they keep finding the deer. And then we finally found, or Joe finally found the deer. And there was some drama. I'll be honest with you, there was some drama about the whole thing, and uh, it okay. really makes it memorable when it turns out successful at the end of the day. That is a nice doe. Very, very nice deer. Thank you, baby. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I love seeing other guys get them, and I mean, it's, that's what this is about. This is what this hunt's about. Just the camaraderie, the brotherhood, it's awesome. So I'm really proud of them. That's the way it works here. It's everyone, if anything needs to happen, if any one of the warriors has any kind of issue or needs any kind of help, the guys surround them. And that helps there. And, and yeah, whether that means you know, canceling their morning hunt, canceling their evening hunt, tracking deer at night, whatever needs to be done, we always have too many people actually offering to help to get them all out of the woods and make this successful. But no one has ever said, me first. It's always about the other hunter. We're here on Leak with 278 acres, which is really good for our pheasant operation. But the, the real land that we hunt on, if you will, uh, is provided to us. The access is provided by uh, numerous landowners are, that are around us. They've kind of adopted Leak. They've taken our heart to mission. And they, they provide fantastic support. So we've got access to thousands and thousands of acres. That support is it's instrumental, it's key to our success, and saying thanks to what these guys have done for us. <laughs> what do you got? Big old Woo! Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Good job, brother. We've had uh, six warriors here, and we have scored six deer. So I'm very proud of our warriors in camp. We're all ordained ministers now. We got ordained last night, and of course that, that had something to do with our success as well. <laughs> And uh, and I was I was I was back here with the deer at eight o'clock this morning. So yeah. Every group's personality is different, and this group is has, has definitely shown us that they are definitely having fun and uh, with each other. You know, I tell folks all the time, it's not about the hunting of the six deer that we get. It's all about them. It's about the camaraderie that exists. You guys ready? Load it up. We've started this pheasant hunting program here at Leak and it's, it's kind of taken off. Um, it used to be that we'd show up in the fall and we'd hunt just on the first Saturday because that was opening day of regular pheasant season. Well, now Leak's got this regulated hunting ground permit, so we can take these warriors out for their turkey hunt in May. We can take them pheasant hunting for their, their uh, muzzleloader hunt here in October where we're at right now. Um, they come up in November and hunt bear. I grew up doing it, so this is, I love it. I love it here. Come! I'm ready to stay. <laughs> Arch, come! First time pheasant hunting. To see the change, it, it warms your heart. It makes every second, every minute, every hour, every day that much more special. And, and it makes us work even harder. It, it, that's what gives us our drive. It's a blessing to give back to these young men and women. Uh, I can't think of a better thing to do. Good shot. They're having fun, and that's the whole point of this. They're having a good time. And so are we. All right, one more oh, presentation to do here right, this morning. Man. <laughs> what happened? Robert, I'd like to present you with what should have been a nice six point buck, but happens to be an old rotten stump. Hey, appreciate it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Just watch. Just <coughs> yeah, got a little bit of arrow left in there. Yeah. <laughs> it pulled yeah, out. So. It. That's great. Bam. Hang on. Nice shot. That's awesome, man. Wow. Yeah. I'd, Let I'd, that dry I'd get out. that mounted. Let that dry out and have it mounted. <laughs> great great shot. Yeah, there you go. Great <laughs> shot. It was me against the deer and deer against me and the deer won that round. <laughs> That's one of them uh, <clears throat> Pennsylvania woodchuck deer. <laughs> That's the true power of Leak when they come here and you get to see them heal. That is amazing. Healing's not an easy thing, and it's a lifelong thing, but it's something that can be done. You, you just have to reach in for your inner strength and go for it. And once you're there, it's a great feeling. It's not all about the hunt, it's about, you know, yes. 
us kind of clicking together. And, like this is the first and only hunt I've been on that we've clicked like we have. I don't think there's a night that we didn't go to bed before 1.30 in the morning because we're in there laughing and cutting up and uh, it's just awesome. And it's just something about the atmosphere that you guys set up that allowed us to be able to do that. This is like totally different than anything I've ever experienced it with, uh, with the amount of camaraderie and like brotherhood that I feel. You know, when you place a bunch of dudes together from different branches or whatever, we all have one thing in common. You know, we all served in the military. So we all had that common, you know, thing to bond with. And uh, we bonded pretty well. And I, you know, I, uh, I can say this from the bottom of my heart, if anybody ever needs anything, give me a call and I'm gonna answer the phone. I know a lot of people put in a lot of work here. Um, <coughs> to me, that made me feel the best while I was here. Yeah, we had the camaraderie, got close with everybody, but to see the volunteers, the landowners, everybody who put in, that hits a spot in me. It touched a place in my heart that people are willing to do stuff like that for us. To come back home and for people to do this for us, it really means a lot. It almost tears me up. And I just want to thank everybody for, for what they do for us. Thank you, man. Thank you, service.